series. Fifth race field picking up speed. Here they come. They're often pacing Ideation Hanover blasting out from the inside, joined on the outside by Queen of the Pride and Self Hanover up on the grandstand side. Art Lecture rolling to the top here for Wa, and it's Art Lecture at 65 to 1 to grab the lead lickety split. Second on the outside, driving up now comes Queen of the Pride. In at the railway third is Ideation Hanover, and off the speed in fourth is Self Hanover. A gap of two back into fifth to find Tall Drink Hanover, then sixth away to Treacherous Rain. The final three in the field are Prescient Beauty, followed further back at the rail by Carousel, and last is odds on St. Lucie, the opening quarter in 27 flat. And they move across the backstretch, coming up to 3 eighths here. On that lead, it's Queen of the Pride. Strong in the face in the pocket spot is the pumped up Art Lecture. It's three back to Ideation Hanover third, and sent first up from fourth drive Sylph Hanover. A perfect second over toe for Tall Drink Hanover. She's fifth and up on the move now. Six popped out goes Treacherous Rain, and the final three is starting up pressure Beauty Carousel scooting up the cones and last is odds on St. Lucie. Half and 55 and 4, a second quarter well rated there, 28 and 4. Driving into the final three eighths of the mile and Queen of the Pride is on top of length. Pressure coming from Sylph Hanover first over to second now. Third in the pocket spot tracks along the quarter pole leader Art Lecture. Perfectly spotted second up from and fourth is Tall Drink Hanover as they race by three quarters in 123 and 3 at 27 and 4 third quarter into the stretch. Miller and Queen of the Pride leading it just over a length in front. Sylph Hanover from first over. Pocket sitting. Art Lecture cut loose off cover now. Tall Drink Hanover as McCarthy flips the switch. And it's Tall Drink Hanover powering up off that second over ride now. She takes command in deep stretch. Late speed from Treacherous Rain. Even wider Prescient Beauty. The She's a Great Lady goes to Tall Drink Hanover in 151 and 1. Drink Hanover delivers as the favorite in this year. She's a great lady. Winning driver Andrew McCarthy with me. One of the co-owners, Marvin Katz, joining me as well. Uh, Andrew, I mean, this is the start to what could be a historic night for you, but uh, how important is it for you to get off to such a great start like this? Oh, very important. You know, uh, on paper, it looks like I could have a really good night, and um, to start it off like that, it, it, it just means the world. Just talk about your Phillies effort and, and, I mean, how you were able to just put her in a perfect, perfect striking spot. Yeah, you know, it worked out great. I, I, I figured um, Dave would go with his filly and Matt would want to leave a little bit. So, um, and I wasn't even too concerned if I had to come third over. I knew the kick in the stretch would probably be good enough, but it worked out great where I got a second over trip and I uh, couldn't ask for any better. You and I were talking earlier. It's a great position to be in, having three of the morning line favorites in the three biggest races, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, like you said, it's better than having three 20 to one shots. Um, it's fun, you know, it's, uh, it's really exciting. Um, I'm just fortunate enough, uh, and, and it's another thing I want to thank Tony, Marvin, Riverview Racing for letting me drive this filly and uh, all the other owners for letting me drive the, the good prospects I've got tonight. You know what I mean? It's really exciting, and uh, this is why we're in the game. Well, this is your first. She's a great lady. You delivered Tony his first as, as, as well. Well done. Thank you. All right, Marvin, let's bring you in here. Uh, you've got one of these already. You won it a couple of years ago with Idyllic Beach. Uh, I mean, this is what you're in the sport for, right? Oh, I love this. Uh, of course, we work hard at uh, producing great champions like this, and uh, it's not easy. It's very difficult to do and enjoy it when it happens because it is very hard to do. 
uh, $35,000 yearling purchase. Um, I mean, we, we see you either breed some or you buy some real expensive ones. A bargain. One of the rare occasions when it, normally it's 350000 not 35000 for us, but uh, she was at the back end of the sale. Of course, we own part of Captain Treacherous, Tony and uh, Myron and myself, and there she was just in the ring and nothing was going on. For whatever reason, she was four or five from the end of the first day at Harrisburg. We liked her. Perry Soderberg, who had pointed her out to us, uh, Tony had liked her and so forth, and we were able to buy her for 35000 It was a surprise to us. How proud are you of this first crop of Captain Treacherous? Couldn't be prouder. I think we were first and second tonight with in the, in the Phillies. This is extraordinary. This is really monumental to see a stallion that we owned and race. Obviously, he's gone to stud, and he's off to an unbelievably great start. Uh, couldn't be prouder. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Great to be at Mohawk. This is home. All right. Uh, congratulations to the entire team. Tall Drink Hanover, the winner of the She's a Great Lady.